As you start working with AutoCAD 2013, you'll likely notice that the command prompt doesn't quite look like it used to. It now supports transparency and an independent transparency control so that when you mouse over it, you can make it very opaque and noticeable, making it easy to enter in. If you click inside of the command line, you can now key in and continue to use functions like autocomplete to scroll through the list and then check anything that you'd like in the command list and it will go ahead and kick off and function. As you work your way through, notice that there's an F2 command history scrolling up and away from the command line and that once you're done using it, it will gray into the background. Now you can have an opaque command line that's pretty well unobtrusive and allows you to work with your drawing without really worrying about it being in the way. Another bonus for this is if you key in a command that has sub options, as in circle, you'll now see clickable links for the sub options. So rather than having to key in 3P or TTR, you can simply click them and the prompting will adjust itself. Another function that you can take advantage of is the new kind of soft docking. It's almost like it's magnetically clicking onto the boundaries of your AutoCAD window. So it doesn't have to be fully docked, but if you do want to fully dock it, you certainly can. You just drop it down here. And this is kind of the classic to the bottom uh, docked appearance that a lot of us are used to with AutoCAD. If you do this, then your F2 or text window will appear just as you've come to expect it. But if this command line were brought out here somewhere, then the F2 would only scroll up and away from where you're used to seeing it. There are a host of options that we can use here with the customize function that we're going to take a look at in this short series on the command prompt. Our goal here is to give you something you can use to totally control the way your command line experience works.